this is your proof that you can thrift any trend. The thrift gods did not come to play today. This dress single-handedly stole the show. Straight off my Pinterest board. This coach bag, authentic and real. A bit expensive, so I passed. I think this is so cute. I love when tops already have an attached layer. It's just one less thing. I thought this would be cute if it was a top. This was giving 30, flirty, and thriving. Like, tell me you see it. I don't know why. I think this is kind of interesting, layered with gold jewelry. Witchy, whimsy goth. I love this color. Paired with red accessories, this could really be a statement piece. Borderline ugly, but has potential to be styled in a 70s chic way. I'm obsessed with this crushed orange material of this dress. This could be cute for a casual fall fit. I thought this was giving like hippie Phoebe buffet vibes. Not really my style. Perfect lacy layering piece. Shoulder pads have been haunting me every time I go. Like, should I hop on? This neckline is actually really cool. The flared sleeves are kind of cool. It's like a knit maxi dress. Lots of crochet pieces. Early 2000s needs reparations for this. I love a baggy wide leg fit. These are perfect for a little top big pants outfit. This crochet tank. I think this is really fun for layering. Crochet brown maxi skirt. <laughs> Not in my size. These mesh tops. I found so many. I think they'd be perfect for layering and adding a lot of texture to your outfits. Another pre-layered top. Reminds me of the reputation era. This is big enough that you could style it as a dress with black boots. Wasn't sure if these were Pinterest riding boots or horse girl energy. I was rushing because they were closing. I literally did this in 30 minutes flat, you guys. What fashion trend do you guys want to see me thrift next? Here's your reminder that you can thrift your Pinterest board. As always, I started in the shoe section and I found these. I am so obsessed. They remind me of a mix of the Ghani flats in Prada kitten heels. I'm so sad, but they weren't my size, but I had to show you them. But then I found these and they were in my size and they were kind of giving the same energy, so I had to have them. Next up, black square toe boots and paired with the leather coat that I found, absolutely perfect. I'm absolutely obsessed with this heel shape and these two. I saw this sweater vest and it reminded me of such a cozy vibe. I would pair this with a white t-shirt and probably some light wash denim jeans. The thrift store always comes through with nice black basic tops. I feel like these would look so good styled in a chic modern way. New York City it girl vibes. I love the abstract design on this shirt. I feel like if you just imagine it cinched in and with low rise jeans it could be super cute in a Y2K look. And same for this top. This midi skirt is giving spring. She's walking around the farmer's market frolicking in the fields. I'm obsessed. Midi skirts are really awesome for trying out new fashion silhouettes. I love the design of this neckline. Obsessed. Had to buy. Let's have a moment for this mini purse. It's adorable. I would pair this oversized blazer vest with a turtleneck or go risque and wear nothing under. I am pretty sure my mom had this in the early 2000s. Anyways, that was everything that I found. Let me know what I should have gotten. No surprise here. I'm back at the thrift store. So let's go thrifting together and see what I can find today. Went to the short section where I found these really cute little denim shorts. I honestly don't know how I feel about those double button details. For some reason, that's like one of my pet peeves for clothes, so I ended up putting it back. Then I found these navy blue cargo shorts, which I really liked, but it ended up being too small on me, so I had a pass. Moving on to the skirt section, I found this really cute little denim mini skirt. It had these chain hardware details on it, but I felt like the overall design was a little bit tacky, so I ended up passing on this one as well. Then I ended up finding this denim mini skirt that was brand new with tags. You really can never go wrong with a basic denim mini skirt, so this was a yes for me. The last find of the day was this parachute maxi skirt. It had this cool drawstring detail at the top. And I thought this would look cool in a grunge style bundle, so I ended up getting it. This is your proof that you can thrift any trend. First stop, the Goodwill bins. Right off the bat, I found these red cowboy boots. Absolute Pinterest dream. They do have some scuffing, but honestly, I don't care for $4. Let's say it's a rugged look. I was on the hunt for silver flats, but these were too small. But then these babies appeared and it was fake. I walked out with two pairs of shoes for $7. Time for thrift store number two. Lacy coquette top you could layer over a bra. More metallic silver accessories. I like the asymmetrical hemline. Imagine it with this top. The perfect brown leather jacket. Here are some ways you could style it. It's like snow white winter chic and I love it. Passion for fashion baby. Such a delicate springtime dress. Could be cute with a wider brown turtleneck, some chunky loafer Doc Martens, and oversized retro glasses. My version of a Matilda Jerf robe. I love the pastel colors. Lil Rotini has convinced me that Cheetah is here to stay for the fall. This top immediately made me think of this outfit's silhouette. Imagine it layered over top a white lace bra and maxi skirt. The Mary Jeans 
women's shoes I've been searching for. Minimalist loafers with white chunky socks. Imagine these with an all white outfit. The perfect white 60s go-go boots. Lovely little white baby doll dress. Last thrift store of the day. I found a second pair of ballet flats, this time in white. It's identical to the inspo picture. I found the most perfect vintage Harley Davidson riding boots flames are you kidding a classic silk slip skirt thanks for coming shopping with me i'll see you tomorrow i think the trick to thrifting is going to multiple stores in one day a little bit here a little bit there at the end of the day you have a lot of goodies surprisingly this was not overpriced so i picked that up and then i headed to the sweatshirts i love anything vintage coca-cola and this was like that soft fuzzy fleece material so that one is going in the cart i wanted this one to come with me too but it had a stain and the price was too much but I'm still gonna have to show you guys the details because it was so beautiful. I've been hitting the jackpot on corduroys lately. They're such a good staple. My tip for finding good leggings, especially Lululemon, is looking in the leggings section and not the athletics where you think they would be. I'm a sucker for patchwork and I love the dark colorway of this, so I picked this one up and it might go in someone's style bundle. I'm not sure yet. This one was fun, these little penguins. I didn't end up getting it, but of course I had to show you. Now we're at the next thrift store and this is my find of the week, maybe the month, maybe the year. Vintage L.O. Bean pajamas. I am gonna wear these every day until I die, not exaggerating. Then I got lazy with videos and just did some photos. This vintage Earth Day crew neck, Carol Horn bomber jacket. This is actually the second one I found in like two weeks. This fun golf crew neck, and then this absolutely breathtaking butterfly sweater. Finishing off with these some polo jeans, love you. Come thrifting with me. I think the thrift gods must have blessed me today because I found some of the most insane pieces that I've ever found. I went to the bag section first, where I happened to stumble upon this beautiful Coach Soho bag. I love the monogram print, and I also love when mini bags have that belt buckle detail on the front. And what's even cooler about this bag is that it was literally brand new with tags. So of course, I snatched her right up. The next bag I ended up finding was this adorable Betty Boop purse. It had the Betty Boop graphic all over it. Plus, this one was also brand new with tags. The tag even featured Betty Boop herself. Then I headed over to the top section where I found this dead stock white leather corset. It had these really cool boning details on it and it was made out of 100% genuine leather. And when I checked the tag, I saw that it retailed for over $199. So thrifting this top was definitely a steal. I went to Goodwill yesterday and got $120 worth of stuff. Here's what I came home with. I usually only ever go to the bins because it's paid by the pound and it's just... The thrill is just really there for me. But I decided to go yesterday because I wanted to find a dress for a wedding that I was going to and I did find it. It was really pretty. And I wore these shoes, these shoes, and it ended up just being super cute and simple. And I almost left the store and then I found this much stuff. I immediately found this North Face vest and thought it was really cute. And it wasn't super expensive these heavy lovers and friends pants. Stores are putting out their Halloween stuff right now and they they put out what they believe to be Halloween costume, right? I'm sure this could be like a pirate costume skirt, but to me, it's just really adorable and like boho. I'm sad because it's like just a tad too big. So I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with it. I could totally see why they put this in the Halloween section, you know? Next were these cute shorts. They're just super long, high-waisted. This pair of Levi's, so cute. These are my favorite ones. This pair and this pair, so cute. They feel brand new. Just realized I'm filming this without my mic, dang it. Again with the Halloween stuff, found this there. Like, this is so cool. Hello. I understand that people are gonna be divided about these, but I thought they were fun and someone could make them look so cool. Like they would look cute even with this little top. There's strawberries on them and little flowers. There's the back mm. and this little cute grandma sweater that has like the little layered, layered situation going on. Here is what the art looks like. Went to a couple other thrift stores and found this little graphic tee for like 50 cents. This band tee for my mom. Pink firefighter tank. Oh, and this dress that is like actually really cute and classy. I think it would look cute with this. And then this I wore today to church. Not only is it a little cardigan, it connects at the top. Just adorable. Anyway. That's just what happens when you're not even thinking of going thrifting and then there's literally a guy watching me from his rooftop right now. Um, that's just what happens when you go thrifting. You don't have any expectations. You just find, the pieces find you. That guy is literally just watching me. Okay, bye.
Hey guys, come thrifting with me for the best thrift trip I have ever had in my entire life. Like, I'm not joking. So I start off in the men's section, as always. I got this Def Leppard tee, this Vintage Eagles tee, and then a Zach Bryant shirt. I love just getting, like, band and music tees. Then in the sweaters, you guys, look how perfect this Vintage Grandpa sweater is. Like, I literally could not believe it. It's 100% wool. It is just, it's so perfect. Then I grabbed this little Dallas Cowboys embroidered hoodie, and then I'm always looking for college sweatshirts for my college girlies. I got this university of new mexico one and this usc one i'll put those up on my instagram around like decision day if any of y'all go there then on the new rack i spotted this little boutique mini sundress and i just thought this was so cute then i went to the jackets and i saw this brown neckline and i was like that looks like randy melville and it was there were these two little brandy um crop sweater vests and i got both of those then i headed over to the athletic section and this is when everything started getting really good i got this little free people movement crop tank and then i found this little lulu crop tank and i got so excited and then i was like maybe there's more lulu oh my gosh yes there was i spotted these sleeves and i was like those look like swiftly tags and there were so many Swiftleys in this store, you guys. Like, I could not believe it. There's literally Sonic Pink, too. I think I counted, like, eight or nine Swiftleys, and I got all of them. I was so excited. And that was not the end of the Lulu, either. I went to the bra section, and I got this little yellow energy bra. And then I honestly just stopped filming because I forgot. I was so excited. I got these black leggings. I got two defined jackets. And I also got shorts. I got three pairs. I got this little reflective pair, a green pair, and then a blue pair. Guys, there was just so much Lulu in the store. Like, I could not believe it. I checked out. Out, and it was the best haul that I have ever had. Okay, I really just had the best thrifting trip of my life. This bag is so heavy and it is overflowing. So I'm gonna try everything on. I'm so excited. Starting with this vintage 90s dress, when I tell you this is the comfiest dress I've ever put on my body, and it's so good. Like, I would wear this anywhere. Another vintage 90s dress. This one is a little bit looser fitting. I'm obsessed with it. I love the color and the print so much. Another one of my favorite dresses. I love asymmetric cuts like this and the print is so pretty. Found a few of these button-up dresses that tie in the back and they're so flattering and so comfy for fall. I love the print on this one. The second one, I think I might like this one better, but it's definitely really close. I love both of them. Another 90s dress. I'm holding this one because it's a little loose on me, but this stretchy material is literally my favorite material ever. Another 90s dress with the same material. I love the print on this one. And it's just so stretchy. This one is vintage USA made. It's so good. I'm realizing now how many dresses I got, but they're all just so good. Last maxi dress. This one has an adjustable back, which I love. And the print is so good. Definitely another one of my favorites. Now mini dresses. When I tell you, I was so excited for this one. And it did not disappoint. Probably one of the best fitting dresses I've ever put on my body. I don't usually go for polka dots, but this little vintage mini dress was too good to pass up. And I'm so happy I got it. So cute with some like white boots. This vintage red velvet one is so good. I wish it fit me so bad. But sadly it doesn't. It's so pretty. And this dress is literally beautiful. I love it so much. Just wanted to show how pretty this one is before I try it on. I styled it a little bit. I think I might like it better with a black baby tee under it. But either way, it's still so cute. I also found this gorgeous slip, which has a Christian Dior tag. I'm not sure if it's authentic or not. I need to research it. But it's on. It's literally so pretty. It's a little big on me, but I love it so much. Last slip I got is this gorgeous printed one. I love the print, and it's so comfy. Okay, now skirts. I kind of went crazy, and I know this video is already so long, so I'm going to go through these so fast. Here is the first skirt. I also found the perfect little white tank. It was not my usual style, but I thought the print and shape on it was so good. The last midi skirt. I love the print on this one. Okay, now maxi skirts. Here's the first one. I love it so much. I found the perfect 90s black maxi skirt. This is that material I love again. Probably one of my favorites. The print on this one is just too good. I've been loving denim skirts, and this one is so good. I love it with this white tank. Okay, I'm out of time, but I have so much more, so part two is already posted. I made another trip to the third today and let me tell you it did not disappoint i told you guys we're going to be coming here more often with the new year and that was the best decision i could have ever made starting off with three gorgeous purses this yellow one i was obsessed with it was coach but they had the audacity to make it 40 dollars. from here on out i'm only taking home things i really need and a purse isn't exactly that the dress section is so underrated and you're always destined to find a cute dress that you can make to fit i love the print of this black dress but at the price range it wasn't worth getting hemmed and this next button up cream dress 
dress was so gorgeous it was giving country girl especially with my boots i was in love surprisingly all these dresses were under 20 dollars there are always going to be regrets at the thrift store and this yellow skirt was my biggest one with coachella only a few months away how did i not envision the cutest outfit ever i think skirts are my specialty because i also found this brown skirt for only four dollars and we always love a good cardigan moment especially when it's only two dollars i was on a mission to find a pair of glasses that looked like emma chamberlain's and these were an immediate yes at the thrift store you're always gonna see me feeling the fabric because if it's soft i'm taking it home this had to be my favorite piece of the day because it is so different it's iconic it's giving cool girl energy and i was obsessed and you know it's good when random people at the thrift compliment you on it you guys know i love my red sweaters but christmas is coming to an end and this did not fit how i wanted it to looking back it seems like i'm in my hunter era at the same time as my sophia richie era and it's starting to get a little bit confusing but this jacket was so cute i felt like i belonged on gossip girl 90210 it was giving luxurious fashion and i love don't get me started on these next boots because they were iconic but i knew my fat calves were not gonna fit in these also these little croquette girl heels what is it with thrift shoes always falling apart these next shoes were a stretch but overall it was an amazing thrift day and of course i love you guys bye I went thrifting and I want to show you guys everything I got. First of all, I know I wear these pants in every video and it's just because they're my favorite. And I can't believe I'm saying that some dingy ass sweatpants from the men's section at the thrift store are my favorite, but we don't choose what we love. So I'm just going to blow you away with the first one and go right in with my new favorite coat. You're mysterious. You may be a flasher. Jokes aside, I've been looking for a trench coat forever and it's so hard to find one that's not dingy at the thrift store. And this one's literally perfect. I feel like it's basically brand new. Drum roll, please. They are breathtaking. And my fly is open. These are the cutest trousers I've ever seen. Like the amount of places I'm gonna wear these. You know it's a good thrift find when you know everybody's gonna ask you where you got it. And the pink button just completes. I found the perfect lace top. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty good. This one takes a little work to put on. It's utility, it's cool, it's neutrals. It's everything I want love i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep this or not what do we think it's cabela's i don't know how to style it though so i might like return or sell this hear me out i don't know what it is about this i half feel like a nerd or someone that plays a character in harry potter but i kind of feel cool too i don't know i would tell you a harry potter reference but i've never watched harry potter i still need to do that but what do we think i kind of like it i don't know why okay another fave they're fun this bag i don't know it's just perfect it fits my laptop fits my camera i love the color i love the vibe and this is just the bag i'll be carrying every day from now on lastly we definitely have a funky one and it's a sweater i think it's perfect for a snow day or a snowboard day and it's just cozy vibes and i really like the colors and that is it for my thrift haul it's time we all admit that i'm in alliance with the thrift gods i went to the thrift today specifically on the hunt for purses but this gorgeous fur coat could not help but catch my eye on top of that i've never found so many gorgeous purses at the thrift all at once this had to all be from the same owner because the red snake skin is going off at the thrift today and it looks absolutely amazing these purses were in literally amazing condition and don't get me wrong because the price tag definitely showed for that it's not every day at the thrift that you find perfect condition red snakeskin purses so you better believe they came home with me the star of the show ladies and gentlemen i am a coach girl i am a fan and you better believe this mini shoulder coach purse in perfect condition caught my eye immediately literally just look at the excitement on my face because there is no hiding it every girl needs a big slouchy black purse and this one is my roman empire and even though i'm not in school this would have been the perfect university book bag and in theory i honestly like these last two purses but the colors were just not giving and of course i'm going thrifting again today so i'll see you guys soon okay love you bye i just bought a 30 dollar bag of jewelry it looks promising this is the first time i'm doing one of these and i'm literally gonna rip her open right here right now okay this little bracelet that's cute oh this bracelet it's a little dangly i love the gold bracelets this i think is an anklet so cute and then i have some random oh my gosh <laughs> literally the my gut telling me to get this a little bow shut up oh this is sick i saw this from the outside i thought it was gonna be a pendant but it's an earring more chains this is fab to me 
gold pearl necklace. Lion. Stop it. This bracelet says sexy on it. A little pin, little heart pin. This little Michael Kors bracelet with the little drawstring. Ooh, these are pretty. Oh my gosh, this is like Versace vibes. Oh, oh my gosh, the amount of like gorgeous gold jewelry. Look at these hearts. Or, um, I meant earrings. Look at these. Okay, we're getting into some silver now. There's this gorgeous gem. There's these bangles, which I think are all connected, yeah. Okay, now this is, this is so fun. I feel like it's literally Christmas morning. Is this a head? Oh, wait, no wonder. This is a head thing. Oh my gosh, this is so like Coachella vibes to me. This is how much I have still. These earrings, very big. My old roommate would have loved to steal those, actually. Silver bracelet. Is this a ring? Wait a minute. Or what is this? Am I tripping? What is this? It's like kind of a gold seashell. Okay, I literally cannot get this section undone, but there's this locket. And it has a picture inside of a family. So if that's your family or you or something, let me know. I'll give you your locket. Waist chain. This bracelet, like, so dainty. But the details. Cool little teardrop. Sorry, I'm sick right now, so I'm stuffy. This necklace. Oh my gosh, like. It's the details for me. It's always the details for me. It's like a spiral situation, but they're clip-ons, so. Shut up right now. Look at these bow earrings. They knew this bag was meant for me, okay? I feel so fulfilled. Let's go thrifting at one of the biggest thrift markets that I've ever been to. It's the Gleep Markets here in Sydney and it's open every Saturday. I spent at least three hours at this market because it was so big. Everything on this rack was $15 to $25 and I found some very cute pieces. And every graphic tee on this rack was only $20. I love this in and out one. The Burger Ferris wheel is so iconic. And if you're looking for athletic jackets, they had a ton of zip ups and these Nike vests. Then I found a rack where everything is $10 and under. How cute is this cardigan? It's so perfect for layering. If you're a fan of 90s to 2000s fashion, I mean, this is heavy. I was also on the hunt for a new necklace and all these pieces are so good for layering. This market had a lot of handmade things as well. All these charms were crocheted by hand. Lastly, if you guys are looking for funky sunglasses, they had so many pairs. This makes me want to go to a rave. Anyway, you guys, make sure to check this place out and let me know where you want me to check out next.